Hello, my name is Michael Hayes. Welcome to my dog house. They see the woodworking shop, but I've been a woodworker for many, many years. But today, I'm going to be building a Hawkins black powder rifle, blood lock, 54 caliber. Disclaimer, I'm no gun builder. This gun is only 95% in leather from the factory. Basically, I'm making sure everything fit, shaping the wood, polish and metal, and so on. However, this is not my first build of bloodlock. This is going to be my second rifle on this build for the first time. But today, I'm going to unbox it and separate, and I'll go right back to you. Unbox it. And separate the parts in the bit so I have everything in order so I don't lose it. Next thing I want to do is uh, make sure the bell is right. This what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use basically a left stick. I'm gonna put it on the gun, make sure it puts a transfer mark on the bell channel. Make sure it's laid all right. There are ways you can use magic marker. You use the any blocks to basically if you've got it open, it's just, it's white. Then you should all use it. I figure why not use it on the cat? You be sure you answer white for permission before you steal one. Otherwise, they're not going to have a happy wife or a girlfriend. I'm going to light the bell. I'm use my wall high hammer. I'm going to set the key in. Yeah, I mean to take the bear out and see what it looks like. It tells me I have to chisel that part and make sure the rest is flat. And this is the only part You better twist it out. Scraping this wood out. I'm going to put the bell back in. Get the bell out. I'm going to try this one more time. Okay. You want to make sure it tightly fit. You don't want a bell get loose or the wet. Come along pretty good. Do I have more to go yet? And you, you want to take your time and don't rush it. If you rush it, you can make a lot of mistakes. Go slow and easy. This way it will teach you to do the right thing.
You want to make sure your chips are charred. What I'm going to do, I'm going to keep doing it until I get it right. Then I'll get back to you in my next step. I spent an hour to relent the, the barrel and make sure it's flat and make sure no lights are tight, which that turns out pretty good. Like I said, you have to take your time and make sure you get it right. You cannot afford to, to screw it up. If this barrel and this rifle, I don't think you can replace it. But it's been in the boss so long. Now my next step is, I'm going to get like that. The butt plate. Let me sure they fit. And let me adjust my camera so you can see better. I'm gonna let it around the edge. I'm gonna left stick it out. I'm gonna set the barrel up and take my one hammer, see if it works. Try to get it one more time. I'm going to file this off a little bit. I'm going to take a half a half file. You make sure you follow this direction and why you can never tell how. And then try it again. Coming closer, I'm going to keep doing it until I get it right. I had to turn the right bit around and make it easy for me to let it because I'm a hard time to go with this side because this one is in the way. So I come up with the solution to my fight and work from there. Problem of salt. And it took me about 20 minutes and I made sure there's no gap in here or anything like that. Now that's the next step here. I'm going to put the pass box in it. And I'm going to shape the stock. Make sure it's flush. And stick it out. I'm going to spend a lot of time here filing. Make sure it's all correct. And I'm going to set up with the fight. And I'll get right back to you. Now I just have to get it set up with the fight. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use a, a file. And I'm going to keep wraps. Keep file it till I get a flush.
Well, I'm going to turn the camera around, so I'm hoping you can see me better. So it's just been an hour to power the door, see how it lights it flush. And let's think of what to do is power this off and work with this side of this stuff. I'm gonna clamp it, then I'll, then I'll get back to you. Now I just set up on the on the bike. I'm gonna work on a beaver tail. That's what they call the hook and right? rifle. What I did. I trace out a pattern, a double page carpet, and I took my homemade knife and scroll, cut around the line, and now I'm going to take a, a chisel and win it well. I'm going to keep doing it the whole way around. It'll probably take me about an hour or two to sell. I'm going to keep doing it until I get up nice and square. Then I'll get back to you. Okay, I spent a few hours shaping and carving it out. And this is helpful. I got, I brushed them up. Yeah, you put a what we you shoe put a, a bead around here like a cup and probably it could take me a couple of hours to let it cold for the day. I'm using a carving chisel. I'm gonna put a cup in there here. And you really have to take your time with it. And it's not easy. They get a trip easy because it's your pee more than wet. Well, I'm going to keep on going. As soon as I get to it, then I'll get back to you. Let's just put a cup on, a real little cup on. So we can knock the sharp edge off the beaver tail. Let me put this up closer so you can see. See a nice bee there. So we're not thinking what to do is shape the top, make sure that top is flat. But first I'm going to take that screw out so I don't damage it. Say it. We gotta pick that screw out, but I'm 
I'm going to keep going to get a bike. And I have to change my bike around a little bit stuff. You know, I'll file the jaw to get a nice and clutch. And plus I have to take the screws out too, so I don't have the head of the screw. And I'm going to tape it as well. So I'll get back to you. Okay. Now I turn the bike around this way, make it a comfortable height for me to work on. So I'm going to file this off so I get this for clutch. I couldn't keep on going or filming, but there's no point in taking it a long time, otherwise you're going to get bored. So I'm going to keep on filing, so I get it done right. Okay, it's just got the top part, top of the cone file, plus to this, this is butt plate. So I'm going to file this off, so I can clutch with uh, the tank. Okay, now it's brush. I'm going to wait a little bit show it to you so you can see. Bow this brush in here. Now I got pretty much on this side. And I'm going to call for a night, put a knife. It's, uh, it's almost at the clock. I'm going to go in the house and get something to eat. I'll be back tomorrow and work on the rest. And that's all I'm going to say, you have a good night. Tonight is the sun sets. I am the predator. I'm the predator. I'm the predator. Look at that thing. Oh my god. I'm the predator. I'm the predator. Nothing ever made me feel like a part of the environment, like a true predator, until now. Good morning, it's day two. July 8th at 10.30 in the morning. I just had coffee with my wife and breakfast as well. So I'm here at the dog house. Uh, yesterday I had to clean up the shop for a safety reason. And now my next step, I'm going to work at this rifle. I'm going to take this barrel off and I'm going to work on this four stock. What I'm going to do, I'm going to check a good and I'm going to work at a file, right, file and smooth and make sure that everything flush. It may take about a while. I had this rough stock yesterday. So hopefully it, it turns out good. I'm going to set it up. Then I'll get my way back to you. Okay, I put it back on the bike. Uh, check it in the trigger guard before I file the, the smoother. Turns out I have a problem. The trigger guard, and I may have to let it down deeper in order to flush. And I might have to file the jaw up to get it down. Be sure I don't hit that. It might take a while. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use that. Uh, a chisel, I'm going to let it down. And got a problem, it can take me a while. Make sure everything's sitting right. Once again, and you saw me there, I'm going to use uh, 
the lipstick and we made sure it sit flush that will probably take me a few hours yeah, hopefully it works out if it turns out I may have a problem it's just a double set trigger what's the hype? you let it a little bit but I pull the trigger It seemed like the trigger hit the trigger guard. It tells me I may have to. It like this trigger down deeper. Hopefully, it don't hit to the the trigger guy. Hopefully, it will work. Okay, here's the update. I just chat with somebody on Facebook messenger who's the gun builder and I'm sitting there scratching my head and I wasn't sure what to do so I talked to him he adjusted the back of the trigger the heater and better make it more circular and the water had room to pull back on well, this trigger when I pull back it's hitting the guard which is not good so I have to Take it to anything apart, which I've never done it before. So I'm gonna see if there's any pattern in there. I'm gonna study them before I take this apart. And I hope it works out. I play it for it, which I've never done it in my life. So I'm gonna keep you updated and get back to you, okay? I just studied this pattern and I took this off. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on the base. I'm going to heat it so it'll bend it over. I wish me luck. I've never done it before. I'm gonna take a chance. Oh boy, it went out. And then he just throws red. Now I'm gonna let it cool off and then I'm gonna put it back on the gun and see what happens. Okay, exit. Heat the trucker. I bend it. Now I'm gonna put the screws back in. So, my suggestion is before you put screws in it, I will use a wax so it can lubricate the screw so you don't break. If you break the screw, you're gonna have a heck of a hard time to get it out. I believe me. I put it out. I've been making one book for many, many years. So I learned this trick. So I it will help. Looks like I got the problem of saw. I wouldn't want to know what to do without a gun build on Facebook. Uh, this is great. And I get my, done, my job done faster. Well, I've got to 
So boy, I got the trigger plated. Seems everything's okay so far. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bow, hand bow, smooth this out, and make sure this brush out. Then I'm gonna set up, or the, I'm gonna set up my face, and I'm gonna put this black on, and hang on for a few minutes. Okay, I, I got it for the gun back on the, on the bike. We're gonna do, we're gonna file this off, make this flush, and I'm gonna turn the work all the way up here. I'm gonna just file off the machine, Mark, which it looks really terrible from the machine. Of the battery. So I'm just gonna kind of smooth it out. It's coming on pretty good. So far, it looks good. So I'm going to take this screw out, I'm going to bow to it flat. Or well, maybe not, I have, don't have to take it out. This is going to, may take a while. I'm going to continue to do it here until I Buy the flush. You see that they're lined up. I'll get right back to you. It's spent about an hour and a half. And we move a lot of ugly machine mark. There's a lot of dips in So I smoothed it out with the file. And I'm kind of like a lot of file marks. Which is okay, but I'm gonna sand it out later. So I'm gonna have to quit for today because it's so hot and humid now. I had to leave the doors open, and I had to take my servant dog to the vet. I'm hoping I'll come back in a couple of days because of my job. Well, folks, hopefully I'll get back to you a couple of days. You see me over this video. You have a good day. Hello, welcome back. I just got back with the bat. Everything's okay. And now, I got everything. Uh, pretty much rough. Hand file is straight. Now I have to hold the lock on it. And the problem is, I found a gap between the touch hole and a pan. Which is not good. What's going to happen? If you add the woods, if you're priming, the powder could blow it in. If you fire it, it could blow the lock out. You don't want that to happen. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it out, you let it deeper, touch it against the bell. Another thing about it, I put the wood flat that you protect the person. And I squeeze it, move it. So far it works. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a letter, but use the lipstick, see how far I have to take for it. The church I have to take down 20,000 of an inch. That's quite a pretty a lot. And I don't trust it. I'd rather I get that bit. It's a point that it's a first stage of reason. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the lock off. Then I'll go right back to you. Okay, I took the lock off. I hear a lot of the lipstick. I looked out here. That means I have to take it with, with the chisel. And I'm going to take my time and work on it. You can't really rush it. It's a very slow process, but it's well worth it if you take your time. Once I get that done, I'll get back to you. Now, I ain't gonna let it more. Now, 
getting closer, I'm going to see how much more I had to do yet. Now it's just used to be okay for the automobile shop. And I think it's a pretty huge boat too. I have about 8,000 minutes to go here. I'm going to keep doing it and hopefully it works out. Hopefully it won't be that long. Get it closer. So keep the winning till I get it closer that bell. It's starting to thunder it's still in now. It's way at a point. I'm gonna have to turn off the camera because the thunder is still in. Hello, it's day three now. I've got to work on this loose cap. We got to pause it with the hair file, with the rough file. And pretty much it's all pretty much rough shape now. We're going to pause it with the file. And what of a bite, I use Pow, I got up a club of bite. And basically I'm gonna use it for brass only because I don't want to use my good pile. I use it for woodworking only. And for metal, that's just my preference. Yellow, I use it for brass work. So I'm gonna pull it up, make it look Smooth. It's all for a rock. And you have to be really careful with your clamping. You do not want to break it. No, I use your chalk. You keep the bar for blue potatoes so you don't get clogged out. I'm using a double cut file. And you want to keep it straight. You don't want to wobble it. Otherwise, you have a round over something. It's not going to look right.
Смерть. He's looking for it, uh, it's nice and smooth. But I'm going to pause it later with the sandpaper. And right now, which is when I get a nice and smooth, I get all that back me cancer or something. I still have a little bit more to go. But a lot better. They look, they look beautiful. So I'm going to keep on. Well, part of the fire. But then I'm going to go back to the house. And my daughter make me supper. Uh, and hopefully I'll come back with the temperature get cooler. Today was like 95 degrees today. It's so hot and humid. So I just decided to take a bite and hopefully I'll come back after supper.